Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. Some of you may have seen a post that I put on social media last week where I made this dragon egg. It's the one I made with the glitter inside and a lot of people wanted to know how I made it. So on this week's video, we're going to make a glitter egg. Also, before getting into this build, I hit 50,000 subscribers. So to say thank you, I'm going to run a giveaway. Go check out my Instagram and my Facebook pages. That'll give you all the details on how to enter and I'm giving away three prizes. Now let's get on with the build. So the first thing you'll need is a piece of burl. This is what they look like when you first see them. And it's kind of got all this bark and dirt and all kinds of stuff all over it. But once you've taken the outer layer off, you're left with this nice landscape look. Once we've picked our piece of burl, the next thing we need to do is cut a piece off it. Now the size of that piece is going to be determined by the size of your mould. So I'm just using one of these plastic cups today and I'm just going to transfer the circumference of the base onto the piece. Now it's off to the bandsaw and we'll cut it out. So I've got a couple of pieces cut, now I'm going to go over to my disc sander and shape it up until it fits in the cup. The next step is to paint, but before I do that I'm just going to take a wire brush and just take off any loose pieces. To paint the first one, I'm going to take some of this ink from Just Resin. This is turquoise. I'm going to put a few drops in the cup and dilute it with a bit of water. Now just take your paintbrush, brush it on. For the second one, I'm going to use a fluorescent color. I've never used these before, so I have no idea how it's going to look. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. Just experiment and have some fun. Now I'm just going to grab some white ink and I'm just going to go over the top with some whitewash. You can see that after applying the whitewash, it really makes the grain pop out. The green one's taken a little longer to dry, so I'm going to go pop this one in the oven. I'll put it in at around 200 Celsius for about 10 minutes. While that one's in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and put some glitter on the first one. I've got two types of glitter. I've got this Midas Touch Gold, which is a nice fine powder. And I've also got Silver Halo, which is a bit more of a coarse glitter. If you want to use any of these glitters or inks for yourself, head over to Just Resin. And if you use discount code Ben's Works, you'll get 10% off. So the glitter sticks to our wood. I'm going to go ahead and take some blue wash, put it over the top, and then lay the glitter down. Now I'm just going to tap some glitter over the top to give us a nice sparkle. And then we have our first piece ready to cast. So I've just taken this one out of the oven. Look how cool that looks. I'm just going to put some whitewash over the top. That way we can put the glitter on this one. Now that we have our second piece finished, let's start casting it. To stop these pieces from rising when I put the resin in, I'm just going to go ahead and take some glue and glue them to the base. The resin I like to use for my casting is called Art Cast, and this is the slow set. It's mixed at a ratio of 3 parts A to 1 part B. Make sure you mix thoroughly, otherwise the resin just won't set. If you don't have a pressure pot, it's best to mix slowly, that way you don't get as many bubbles. And same when you go to pour. Just a nice slow pour, that way you get the least amount of bubbles. And then we have our pour ready to go in the pot. The last step is to put it in your pressure pot to cure. If you don't have one of these, don't worry, you can leave it out to air dry. You may just get a few bubbles. It's been about six hours now. Let's take them out of the pot and see how they look.
There's our first one. Looks nice and clear. And our second one. Look how cool that looks. Those colors are awesome. Now to get them out of the mold is real easy. Just take yourself a razor blade. Be careful not to cut yourself. And just go straight up the side. And then we have our blank ready to go. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but the loose glitter floats through the resin and gives a real cool effect. Before I glue these to the waste blocks, I'm just gonna to go to the sander and just take this lip off. So I've sanded that lip off, so now we've got a nice flat surface and I can glue it to my waste block. Now I'm gonna do that by using some five minute epoxy. Now when gluing your blank to your waste block, make sure you get it as close to center as possible. Now I'm just gonna let these sit overnight so the glue can dry and we'll come back tomorrow. It's now the next day and it's time to mount it up on the lathe and start shaping it. Now if you don't have a lathe, you can just take this over to your disc sander or your belt sander, shape it as close as you can to an egg shape, and then instead of putting a big waste block on like this, put a smaller one on, one that's small enough that'll fit into a drill press chuck, and then you can sand it on that. Now I've got a video of where I made a pendant using a similar process. I'll leave a link down below and up top and you can check that out. So that's the shaping all finished. You'll notice that I scraped it with the parting tool and that was just to get a lot of the tooling marks out. So my next step now is to sand it. I'm gonna start with 180 grit and I'm gonna work all the way through and up to 1200. So I've now sanded that up to 320. Now I'm gonna go and do some wet sanding from here on in. And I'm gonna try and stay just on the resin part. I don't wanna to get too much water on the bell. I've now sanded that up to 1200, but before I go parting it off the waste block, I'm gonna take it to the buffing wheel and give it a buff. And I'm gonna do that for two reasons. One, it's easier to hold when you've got the waste block on it. And two, if I've left any scratches behind, I can put it back on the chuck and sand them back out. The compound I'm gonna use on the buffing wheel is called Yorkshire Grit, and this is the microfine version. If you don't have Yorkshire Grit, you can just grab yourself some car polish. Just make sure it's super fine. So I'm pretty happy how that looks. Now I'm gonna go stick it back on the lathe and we'll part this waste block off. So now I'm just gonna clean the base up, give it a bit of a sand, then I'll give it one final polish and it'll be finished. Thank you. 
Lola. This thing looks amazing. That fluoro green just sets that gold glitter off so well. I specially built Lola for a lady named Catherine. It's heading over to the USA. I hope you enjoy it. Here's how the second blank turned out. I turned this one off camera since it's the same process, but you can see here all the glitter that's flowing through the resin really sets it off. If you want to buy this egg or any of my other eggs, they're available in my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. It really helps me out a lot. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'll put new how-to and build videos out every couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.